at um, Tamworth. Thank you, Simon. Thank you also for your assistance here today. We're about to get the last at Tamworth underway. Three, four, one. If you want to be alive in the quarry, those are the numbers you need. And we're about to go. Last event in beautiful sunshine. The arms fall back. They're racing now. On the inside, Future Fun, one of the best, none better though than Harbour Town, which has driven through. Vinnie the Poet out wide makes a line of three into the bottom corner. Rowado Bay is going to sit on the pegs and those red and blue colours with the big white W prominent. Behind them there is something special. Just dropping out as Mondo Sports as she's going to try and get a trail. Scotland Chicks through on the inside and Corsini about midfield. Down the back they go. They've sorted themselves out and Future Fun goes to the leader. On the outside there is Harbour Town. Vinny the Poet settles in the 1-1 one, one and Ruado Bay will jump onto the leader's back on the pegs. Next along is something special, joined on the outside by Corsini. Mondo Sports is back second last and Scotland Jigs is last of all. Two and a quarter laps left to travel up to the top turn here at the Golden Guitar Paceway and Future Fun is the leader. It was a good last to start a winner and uh, at Armadale it rolls along. Leads by a couple of metres on the outside of uh, Harbour Town. Back on the inside, Ruada Bay. Then on the 1-1 one, one is, is uh, Vinnie the Poet. On the inside, something special. Corsini runs next to it, Mondo Sports and Scotland Jigs. They're not setting any great... Uh, uh, records here, 56.1, a lap and three quarters left to go. As they start the way, work down the back, 1,400 metres from home. And a change in order. Future Fun has gone out of its gear or might have broken some gear. The driver looks like he's pulling it up. So something's gone amiss as the Harbour Town takes over in front. Leads by a couple of metres as they go down the back. Ruado Bay getting a lovely run. Vinny the Poe at the outside now faces the breeze. Something special on the inside of Corsini, Scotland, Jigs, Mondo Sports. Not sure what's gone amiss though with the Future Fun. He's being pulled up out of the race. It could be a gear malfunction. Anyway, his race has run up to the top turn. The opening quarter, 32.3. And the leader on the inside is Harbour Town. Bowling along, leads by a couple of metres. No change in order now. Back on the inside, Ruado Bay. Then on the outside, facing the breeze, is Vinnie the Poet, which took over his favourite just before they jumped. There's the bell lap, 31 the second quarter. 63.3 is the half. Uh, three wide Corsini, back behind them is something special. Then followed by Scotland Jigs and Bondo Sports, last of all. The pace quickens down the back. The driver searches for the persuader on Harbour Town because Corsini is the one to race up on the outside and goes straight past Harbour Town. Then followed by Vinnie the Poet. It couldn't go when they sprinted. Scotland Jigs ranging up three wide behind them, Ruado Bay. Uh, something special's called it today. So too as Mondo Sports and Future Fund was out a lap ago. Up to the home turn, the leader Corsini by G's driving confidently and it looks all over the winner on the home turn. Harbour Town is a second. It's had enough. Scotland Jigs is the widest runner coming around and Vinnie the Poet not finding enough. Corsini is the leader. Halfway down the straight, it's got this last race at Tamworth well and truly parceled up and Corsini at one last time it's going to win here. Two in a row. In a third quarter, 28.9, 30.5 the final quarter. Harbour Town was second. Third, don't know. Scotland Jigs on the inside, Rwanda Bay. Vinnie the Poet or Mondo Sports. I'll leave that to the judge to decide second, third and fourth. The only one not figuring in it was something special. And as I said, there must have been